Um, Oluwa Shegun, any woman, presently working with Federal Safety Corps. On that fateful Sunday, I was outside my street just to get one or two things done. I noticed these two army guy putting on a camo, down a camo, molesting one of our neighbor there. Seriously, nobody could walk up to them or talk to them. So I moved closer to them that please, what's the issue with this uh, person? One of them replied, shift back. I said, please, can someone tell me something? That this guy is dying. So the other one said, he saw him three weeks ago with a short necker camo. And he asked the boy to, to go and bring it. So the guy left, not until today, that he's setting his eyes on the guy. So I now said, okay, you saw him today and he's now wearing it. That please leave him. Or if there is anything you should do best, walk down, take him down to the police station, the nearest police station. So the other one, you know, fled. He said, I will bounce on you. So I saw a problem coming. I have to move back. Just for about two minutes, I saw one of my neighbors, the guy that stays door before my, you know. The guy just came out with a phone, moving closer to them. That he called one of his elder brother, that one is a military man, to, to speak with them so that they can stop the molestation. What they do, they correct the phone from the guy, forcefully smash it bounce on him, beat him, not until when they use plank on his face. And both started gushing out. So I signaled the boy to meet me on the bridge. We quickly moved down to Adekunle police station. We went to that Okobaba police post. They said they are not the one covering the area. So we took a bus to Adekunle police station. When we get there, I explained. Then the senior person on ground that day called the patrol member, a patrol team of four policemen, fully armed. So from there, so there were three when they first started. Two happens to be a soldier guy on Kamu. The other one is Warebi Yayagwene, claiming to be their elder brother. So I thought the police could arrest the issue so that the life of those guys would be safe. So on our arrival with the policemen, I never knew they have mobilized or what do they call their slangs. They reinforced or mobilized. They, they were 19 in number sitting. As we were just coming towards them, the next thing I heard was, now you go bring police, Abby. So I quickly take, I took my cover on the back, uh, at the back of that, uh, the super that led the team. So the super was trying to cover me or to guide me. But the person that led the soldier guy, he was a cobra, took him away from there, they bounced on me. You remove the corporal, the super. Yeah. The team. Now you go call police. They bounce on me, beating, beating, beating. Not until one of them struck me. I don't know if it's a plank, a gun, or whatever. What I just had was, bah, and that's all. This evening, I was just coming from the theater to I undergo a surgery. So as I'm coming in, seeing you guys.
So as it stands right now, have they made efforts to reach out to you, the military? Mm, yes. Yesterday, I saw two of their provosts, this uh, military police, two captains, they came here that they are on the issue that the guy in question and eight others are in their custody. I learned they are from uh, this, uh, what is it called, this training camp here, Morocco. That they are barracks there. In Shomulu. In Shomulu. My own barracks. My own barracks. So I couldn't really talk much yesterday. But how about your treatment? Have they been responsible for it so far? No, no. It's only my family. So, but uh, where you work, uh, are they are they already aware? And what are they doing? They are aware. They are here. They are on the issue. But I will use this uh, medium to plead and urge the sector commander Lagos State FRSC the person of uh, Ijunis Umeji and then the zonal commander down to the chief executive Yemi Boboye of FRSC to please you shouldn't leave me like this. This battle, I can't fight it alone. They should support me. What I just want is justice. What I want is justice. Nothing more than justice. Do you, do you feel you might still be able to continue working at the FRC in this condition? Yes. Because my other eyes okay. At least with treatment, I'll be fine. 